Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay, friend. Uh, let me start. So before that, let me open the Android Studio. Are you using Android or IntelliJ? It's IntelliJ based, by the way. Android Studio is also IntelliJ based. Uh. Okay, both. I mean, the product. But we I can, mean, we can, we can, we can use IntelliJ. I can use IntelliJ. Yeah. Yeah, actually, it's same. Uh. IntelliJ, it's same. Just a moment. Can you see my Android Studio, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, before I proceed, uh, I have a question. Like, uh, did you all, uh, already set up installation with Android Studio or not yet? Yeah, yeah, I have installed Android Studio. IntelliJ, I have a virtual, um, virtual machine. Uh, machine, yeah, emulator. Great, great. And you are using Windows or Mac? Windows. Windows. Okay. Okay. There is no difference, by the way. Uh, it's almost C. Great. Okay. So actually, I was prepared some outline for for current thing, but like we have a basic setup installation in this okay. thing. I will tell you from where you can download and start. It's pretty straightforward. We yes. will create first application, and I will tell you like. I mean, how we can write the name of package. I mean, what is the importance of package? Okay. I will let yeah. you know about the folder structure of, of, of the existing application. Okay. Yes. Then we will talk about some common layouts. Okay. Like, yes. I mean, what are the common things we are using? I mean, from basics. And then we will build some a basic first UI. And then I will some give you the introduction of Figma lab, how we can use the Figma and how uh, we can export icons and use that. Okay. Okay. So for for the if you are using uh, this is uh, this is not related to Catalan. Catalan we will we would not cover this session. Huh? Actually, when I will create the project, when I will create a project, obviously uh you need for the android application you need ui as well as kotlin okay so the logical yeah, okay. part in kotlin yeah yeah and this the is UI the reason you 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 will uh, start by using the ui first ui mm. exactly if you don't know about the ui then how you will go for the for for the okay. logic only for it okay. it makes sense okay. okay by the way uh, just just a quick thing or if you know of developers, developer dot and right, this is the official website or okay. So here you can download your Android Studio. It's it will download a, a zip file or the exe file. After that, you yes. will just need to click next, 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 and all the installation would be done. Okay. Yes. There is no need of installing JDK or SDK independently. Okay. Right now, all the things merged in one package. Yes. But, okay. Cool. Then we are going to let me open the Android Studio. So if you are very new to the Android Studio, uh, then it will show you a uh, interface like create a new project because currently you don't have any project and though I, I i'm i'm seeing many projects because i'm working with android studio for for so long that's why yeah okay so, so the first thing when i will create the new project okay so here we have some categories like phone and tablets wear os android tv automotive Okay, so we will focus on phone and tablet. Yeah. Okay. And for the others, I mean, also we have some templates for Android TV, automotive, VRS, phone, tablet. Okay. So when we will talk about phone and tablet, we have some templates. Okay. But we will not choose any template because whenever mm -hmm. we will use some template, it will, I mean, use 
some built in court and yeah. if you are experienced person then it's okay you can pick and then modify according to your requirement but if you are new then i will recommend you to go with no activity yes got it then we will uh, give the uh, name of the application so i will write like first app okay so here is the package name this is important <clears throat> okay so yeah. there is some yeah. good practices for choosing the package name because later on when when we publish our app we really need this okay so if you are using some random package it will create a mess later on okay uh, so choose the package name wisely okay so the package name should start with a com com represent company yes okay yes. The second thing is the PWH. It's it should be a short and small like the company name. Like my company name is uh, programming with us and PWH. Okay. Yeah. If you have some other company like Verful, like Microsoft, like Google, com dot Google, com dot Microsoft, right? And then this is the name of your application in small letter. Like for example, your application is Quick Eats. Should Quick Eats. If you have the application like name of WhatsApp, it should be yes. WhatsApp in small yes. letters. Yes. Okay. Then you need to choose the location. So make sure whenever you are <clears throat> choosing the location. So I will recommend, please don't use any space between the path. Okay. Mm -hmm. So for example. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I got it. Okay. Because if you use the space, it will create problem later on with NDK, okay? Mm, and yes. by unfortunately, Android is not promoting for the NDK and you are searching all day, but you didn't find a solution. At last, mm. you will find there is a space issue. Mm. Space, in, space in the path. There is no yeah. space. Huh? It should be. Huh? Yeah, there, there should be no space, okay? There should be no space, yes. Okay, I, am, I already created some folder with the name of your name might it so there yes. just a moment HP data it is HP data and then I am M. okay like this is Mudassar I am M. so I created I, I put the hyphen between Mudassar and I am M. if I will put the show uh, the empty path it will okay but later on it will create some problem oh uh, yeah, yeah yeah okay then we will choose the studio project here in the company PWSS here are some names like this is your name, Majid. So I will choose this path. Yes. Okay. Yes. And then at and the last, I need to name the folder like first Android app. Okay. Yes. Use hyphen. It's it's very straightforward and good. Okay. Then there are two languages. We have Java and Kotlin. So we can Absolutely. also use Java. Yeah, so obviously we will use Kotlin, Java. In the near future, I'm I'm hearing like maybe they will remove the sport for Java because Kotlin is now getting more popular. Okay, so this is important minimum SDK. Okay, so Great. you know like minimum. Yeah, this is SDK. very important. This one, yeah. yeah, it's very important. You know, like if you select some old like this one, okay. So a lot of devices have lose the sport for this this version. Okay, mm. so right now there is no Jelly Bean APIs, KitKat. You will find, but it's mini with a minimal sport. Okay, so whenever we will develop applications, I mainly choose the target from Marshmallow twenty three. So twenty three. This is uh, this is not yes, the newest one. Huh? Yeah, it's a least stable. I mean, least, least stable. Uh, at least stable. Okay. If you will choose the lollipop ticket, it, it will also okay. But I mean, at some moment you will find some APIs, some latest mm -hmm. API would not support for this version. So then you need to put many checks, like if this version, then this will run. If this version, then this will run. Yes. This will create problem. So, so I will re recommend Marshmallow or 7.0 Nougat. Okay, so at, why I'm choosing Marshmallow? Okay, so before Marshmallow, there was not a good security and there was no management of permissions. Okay, so all the things 
I mean, we just place the permission and it was all about, okay? But after lollipop marshmallow, there was a concept come, come in, in, in the ground, like runtime permission. If you are an iOS user, low, why iOS is most popular? Because iOS uh, is, is, is have a very good security than Android, okay? So Android, I mean, the Android community is now copying the iOS community. Okay, uh -huh. they are following the best design practices of iOS. Okay, uh -huh. that's why. Okay, we will choose 6.0. So we'll choose 23 or 24 for? 23, 23. 23, yeah. Okay. okay. Then we have this option, use legacy Android. Okay, so this, this is, I mean, this is good, but if you will use this, so if you are in, in future, you are you want to work with the Jetpack libraries, like some live data libraries, some uh, work manager libraries, core routines. So it will not allow in, in with this support version. So we I will recommend not to check this. Okay. If because you have, you want to develop a latest application. Okay. So it should have some minimum target and target STD. Right? Yes, yes. Okay. Then I will finish. I hope until now everything is clear. Yeah, yeah, it's clear. It's very simple. It's very simple. Okay. Then in the meantime, it is building. I will let you know, you know, like Android system is based on Gradle. Okay. Gradle. And Jaffa, there are two options, Gradle and Maven. Yes, Gradle and Maven. Okay. Yeah. So this is, uh, I mean, the building system. Okay, for, for the Android application. Okay, mm. so how it will work? Actually, we have some, I mean, Maven Center, J Center, some repositories, okay, where there's a lot of libraries and plugins are, you know, uh, hosted. Okay, so before this, I was used to work with Android Eclipse and we need to download the library and put as a module and then use that. Now there is no need, we just need to put the link and we will mm. sync, it will download and yeah. and it will download and you know, like it will write in, in some storage in our computer and use from there, okay? And if we are, I mean, using some VCS, GitHub or something like that, it will not uh, push the whole library files. It will just push the Gradle file. So whenever yeah. who will, I mean, check out, he will sync and we, so the library will also download in their computer and he can use that. Okay, yeah. so this is a gradle system. Okay, so it is built. So let me know, like here have we have some options. Okay, like there are some folder structure like projects, packages, a lot of structures, but we are interested in Android because Android. we are want to, yeah. yes, because we want to. So sometimes, sometimes when we build the applications, actually it is selected by default and we are very confused like where our option where our files are not showing yeah at all. yeah yeah okay yeah. okay so this is it but this is also i mean important when we use to copy and paste some files into in, into the root directory so we will select this and go over there and select this yeah. and just paste it like this paste over yes. here but in here it is, we don't have a, have this option. Got mm, it? Yeah. Okay. Now I will talk about the folder structure. Okay. In, in the application, there are three basic folder like manifest, Java resource. Okay. So the manifest is actually, you, you can say the heart of application. Okay. Here we will register all, all the activities. Activities means screen. If I'm using some three screen or four screen, I will register over here. Okay. Uh, every each screen should be registered here, huh? Exactly, exactly. Every screen, every activity, not fragments. Uh, there are two, there are two types of screens. We are there are two types of terms we are using in Android. One is activity. Activity is a generic thing. And the second is fragment. So one activity mm -hmm. contain many fragments, okay? But fragment is, is not contain the activity, okay? So activity is the parent, 
pregnant is the child right so whenever we use i mean now nowadays there is a concept come like one activity and many fragments to to uh, avoid some memory you know like in mobile the memory is very important thing in website and oh. back end memory is not important but in in mobile application because we have limited memory so so the memory management is very very good thing so that's why we will use i mean a lot of things to minimize to minimize and i mean to avoid our memory uh, loss mm. okay okay so in in manifest we have something like we here we will uh, tell the name of application that will display in the icon so for example this is the phone so you should, you can see the application this is the name like cash khatib calendar yeah. so this is the name mm. of the application mm. and we have i mean allow backup true or false so even if we will allow this if we even we uninstall the application and install it again it will it will not i mean delete the backup okay mm. also some labels come in like themes what is the theme we are using it's for rtl like right to left and left to right because arabic is from right to left yeah and yeah right English, to left, yes. exactly label icon okay the other thing will come once i mean these things for for the advanced things so right now you yes. don't need okay so okay. this is the manifest okay so this the manifest the, uh, the manifest is the heart of android application huh? yeah you can say it's the heart of the application yeah. okay for the android application for, but for the building and controlling libraries then gradle is is the heart of application yeah there wow. are two, two concepts one is uh, android application point of view the second is dependency management point of view so in mm. case of dependency management then then gradle in case of application controlling then manifest yes. okay okay this is all about and then we have a java and resource java folder and a resource folder okay so java contain three packages one for the logical development that will we will do in kotlin okay or yes. or java okay even we will use java or kotlin but this name is is java mm. this is from the intellij okay the mm. second thing is is the android test this is this is for for the instrument testing and ui testing okay mm. the third thing is is the test this is for solely for the unit test okay yeah. but whenever we will build application okay this is not shipped with the apk with with the bundle that we are pushing to the store exclude mm. from the bundle huh? exclude this exactly one. exactly, exactly. Mm. okay this is for just testing purpose and you know all the things okay yeah. then we have resources so resources mean i mean the ui thing the icon the images the style mm. font, all, font, all the, font font exactly the font mm. values strings i mean the logo drawables okay so let me explain uh, some something more like if we are using drawables you know like in android we have many configuration like why we have many devices like some devices have very small screen some devices a big screen some devices have good resolution some devices have a small resolution okay a lot of things mm -hmm. okay so we have like ldpi like lower date depth per index like mdpi i mean micro then hdpi high dpi xhdpi double xhdpi different different configuration okay so let me show you so for example there is you can ask like what is the difference between drawable and mip map okay so the purpose of mip map is like it's just for for this icon mm. okay so we need to provide all the icon even we will provide one it will work but but the good practice and recommendation is add the package for all configuration why it is important because when when we build the bundle of our application and push to the store 
so the google play algorithm will run and check for and, and separate the apk for each configuration so for example we will we will define all like mdpi hdpi so if google is 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 going to create the APK, uh, apk he will just use this and discard other why mm -hmm. this is important it will reduce the size of application mm -hmm. okay if we will you will provide only one so google will consider as a default and it will add with all configuration and hence the bigger size of the application okay so this is the first thing and the drawable folder is for for the assets and images inside the application okay so it, the recommended we can also provide in this way we can we can provide for all configuration okay but think of like if our application use 20 images okay and we have one two three four five six seven configuration we need to provide 20 multiply by seven okay it's mean 140 images okay so instead of 140 images we need to use vector images svg because svg is is a very good thing we can just tell the size and it will work okay later on i will give you more yes. explanation yeah okay then we have colors here, here we will put all the colors okay don't use hard coded color when i i'm using that uh, application when i when i i'm i'm drawing uh, building the layout some people use the color as hard coded oh. okay that is not practice we please mm. always use the color from this file and if i need to add more i will add more over here okay here the strings here the strings like all the text in the application i will put here so this is for english so if my application gonna support multiple languages i will add string for each country for for english for so for example if we if we support uh, two languages english and arabic english. so in the same in the yeah. same strings uh, that's xml we put arabic also or where exactly 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 like for example in just a minute i will so for the string this is this is for only for the one okay yeah. So if I need to add more, uh, I will just paste. Mm -hmm. Control C. Okay. Here will I, I will tell Arabic. like A R. See now we have two. One for one is default. If 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 I'm using the Arabic language, it will choose this. And here I will add, give the option of Arabic. Okay, app name in Arabic. Maybe I don't have the Arabic keyboard, but I will write it over here. What it, I will tell this later on as well. Okay. okay, then we have theme. This is also for, you know, like for the Android application, we have some terms like primary color secondary color okay the primary color is i mean the main focus color of the application for example this is the application yeah so this is this is this is the primary color blue blue is the oh. primary color okay oh. and then the secondary color secondary color like for example i am adding customer and you can see here that here the dark color, eh? light blue color. This one, this one. <coughs> this, is the scan. this is the secondary color. And then we have status bar colors. This is the status bar. Okay, this is the status bar. This is the uh, app bar. Okay, here come the bottom bar. Okay, other comes toolbar, a lot of. It is navigation drawer. I will tell you also the component name later. Yes. Okay. Then we have XML. This is for maybe we have some network configuration. We have some preferences in the app. We have, we will put over here. Okay. But this is not needed right now. Okay. Okay. So this is a folder structure and we have a build gradle. 
we have two build gradle one as project level and one as module level okay so what's for, the difference for, between project yeah, and module? exactly so the project is i mean one for managing the dependencies i mean for example my application is using some third party libraries okay so for example i'm using camera library maybe i'm using some uh, sensor library okay i will put the link over here and sync okay this is for this is at the module level and the second is at pro at at, uh, at project level okay so this is for providing the class path i mean what is the google version if i if i am going to use some uh, google play services version i will put over here i mean these are generic level plugin okay used for the infrastructure and the os okay and this is for the application used for the application itself okay this mm -hmm. is for building this is oh, this no. is the needed needed thing for the applications got it oh. i mean this is these settings for building the application this one okay and this one for uh, for the application itself okay here comes pro god rules so pro god rules is for example i i want to place the security of the app okay so so the later on no one decompile my application and see all my code all my api keys base url to avoid that we have pro god when we we enable this actually it's encrypt and obfuscate all the code so no one will check and see our code later and even he, he have the ip right yeah okay so these are also setting for for the, this is the jvm i mean this is this is how much our application use the memory for building this application ah oh. okay and this is for this is not for the application memory this is for i mean the computer memory i mean use this memory for this building this okay and this, this is, is android for android. for for mobile or for the environment current environment for the environment for the environment okay um, i mean when i will build if sometime sometime if i have a very good project very big project this is not too much i will increase this like this and build so it will use my 3048 memory of my computer to build this um, got it yes okay and then we have i mean this is android x2 so previously before this we have support libraries different maven central repository now they moved all the libraries into android x okay so this is the repository name in 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 in, in the you know like where our packages i mean for example we have these these plugins these plugins okay so from where we need to come there are two version one is port version and one is android x version okay so recommended is used to android x because when i was used to work in 20 uh 2015 i was using sport library okay mm -hmm. then in 2017 there come android x now if someone have old application they can migrate from here move to android x previous one sport app mm -hmm. compact sport mm -hmm. okay yes these are the local properties. This is the path of our SDK. This is also auto managed. This is the setting gradle. This is also not used right now. Previously, this was this was in inside the module app. Okay. Uh, they just removed now, from there. Sorry. Yeah, right now it's removed from the module. Exactly from module and replace over in in the setting file. Okay, by the way, these are the file system files. When you will create your application, it will auto generate it. Okay, mm -hmm. but sometimes we need to add some repositories if we are using some dependency from other than Google and Maven Central. Okay, then we need to, for example, there is a JIT pack, JIT pack, we need to provide the URL. Okay, so whenever you will use that, obviously they will let you know like this plugin should be placed over here. Got it? Yeah. 
okay so this is folder structure i hope all the things until now is pretty simple and i mean you understand right yes sir okay okay then i will come to the layout thing so first of all we need to create the activity i will check uh, select this package right click new activity okay because the activity is the main component of of the android application and activity so which means that the android application at least one activity uh, represents exactly 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 at least one activity okay mm. empty activity okay now it should be the name main activity this is fine so whenever we, you will create the activity the first thing you should consider like the name should be very obvious and good so for example i need to create the activity for for login, the home page for example for login for login login or home page so it should be login activity so activity uh, should be of the name uh, home activity uh, hmm. register activity okay login activity okay yes. otp password activity okay and then every activity has its layout file okay so it should be like the activity underscore main i mean this word in in smaller but in in reverse activity reverse. underscore okay acha then there is come the option launcher activity launcher it's mean whenever someone open the application what should be the first activity that will open i will make this because this is the only activity yeah. right now yeah. got it now i'm creating finish this is the kotlin code and <clears throat> it will sync yes okay so when i do this it create this application it registered the activity in the android manifest you can see previously it was not mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. okay now it's created exported true this is this is a advanced thing but i'm telling you like for example in the future you are building some application some sharing application maybe and you allow other application to use your service mm -hmm. you will export true so for example right now if i'm clicking on share button to, so a lot of application open like i can you can share my with my application you can share with whatsapp you can share with facebook you can share with okay so this is for that thing mm -hmm. okay so this is for the telling the system the application this is the main application and launcher okay this should be the uh... first so if we if we if we have uh, two activity and uh, remove this one and put it or copy this one and put it there and remove it so it will become the another activity the main huh? exactly launcher. exactly so for example so launcher mean launcher mean the main activity display at the start time or initialization huh? and initialization exactly 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 you you are getting very right so the the main application when we open the for example let me close this so i am clicking on this so this is the first application splash activity oh. okay so this is the main activity okay so for example i have another activity maybe i have i have not right now so maybe i will i'm saying like this is the second activity second main activity okay and if i will put the things over here so now my this activity is main and this is not a main yeah yeah okay so this is fine and this create code over here over here and in 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 the layout it's create activity underscore main file this is the layout file mm. okay so this is the layout file you can we have three things we can see the code we can see the design we can see split 
like code here and check over here code here no. and check over here okay okay so until now i mean we just created the activity so if we want to run this i will simply run hit i already uh, make the emulator so emulator, which I... which one is the best emulator it, it will come from uh, with the android studio by default and the emulator yeah, yeah yeah by default let me tell you how i think this is uh, also important. which which uh, this is a pixel 3 axl this is the best uh... No, 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 no. There is, I mean, it's depend on the requirement. So, for example, I'm developing the application. I need to check my application on my, on many, you know, on many devices. Okay. So, I will create a lot of things for testing. Okay. So, if I will test on only one, <laughs> maybe that will not work on another. So, that's oh. one. Okay. So, for example, I'm closing. If you are a backend developer, you know, like when we do some uh, front end and we are checking on inspect element and check a lot of yeah. devices that's this is that's the same thing okay so just a moment hmm. so you can see like if you you will install android studio you will you can see this icon for the sdk manager sorry at this icon device manager you will click click on here i have already created some but if you want to create any new I will not create just let, letting you know you just click on you just click on this yeah you can select yeah. phone tablet any for example phone so let me you maybe you can select phone six next okay here are version a lot of version okay so right now i have i mean the latest four or five version but for so previously some days ago i was i i have the application on production so someone reported it is not working on Android uh, Nougat, okay? So I just downloaded this and test the application, found the error, fix, and then push it again. Uh, this is the, this is the, actually, this is the critical point because there are a lot of uh, uh, releases, devices, devices yeah. and sometime you didn't yeah. cover this all is, these. This is the this problem. Is the pain. Yeah, this is the pain of developer. Okay, so we need to check for all. Okay, but but if I, I if you we are following some good practices and if we are following the proper documentation, so Android Studio always tell like this is deprecated API. It will also tell you the warning. Okay, so we should care of that. Okay, mm -hmm. so if you want to download, you just click and then I mean for example this it will download and then you will create next next and it will create the emulator okay i'm why i'm using android studio okay because this is the recommended this is for flutter this is recommended for flutter this is recommended for uh, android native application ndk application android uh, kotlin application all okay i hope uh, until now all is clear right Yes. Uh, before uh, before finish five minutes, I will show you something in my uh, side. Okay. To sure, 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 sure. Okay. Sure. So this is the layout. Okay. So let me tell you. I mean, there are some layouts. Just a moment. Sub important layouts. So right now we are maximum working with the constant layout. Okay. This is a constant layout. With this layout, we can, I mean, drag, drop, step in, step out. We can make all the things, even with the code. Because, you know, like I'm designing the design with, with layout as well as with code. I love to work mm -hmm. with code maximum, okay? But someone new is coming with, with the layout. But with layout, we are doing a lot of errors, okay? So that's why. Mm -hmm. So another is linear layout. So linear layout have two orientation, horizontal and vertical. Okay. Then come relative layout. In this layout, all the things are placed according to relation from one to another. And then Could come frame one layout. minute. Give me one minute, one minute. Just one minute. Huh? Sure. Sure, sure.
Yeah. Okay. No problem. The first uh, constraint layout, linear layout, yeah. relative layout, frame, frame layout. layout. Yeah. So I mean, uh, the the general is like we are using maximum constraint layout. Okay. So previously, before that, I mean, when we start development, even right now we are also using linear layout, but very minimum, very minimum. Okay. So mm -hmm. you know what? When why why constraint layout come? Okay, why linear layout is was not good, relative layout was not good. Actually, you know, when we, we do the thing with linear layout, we need to have a lot of nested layout. One, another, one, another one, another one. So it's it's a big hierarchy. Okay. So you know, like if we have a hierarchy more than seven child, okay, then there is a rendering issue on, on the UI. Okay. Mm. So one linear layout is taking four KB space. 4 KB space. So if we have mm -hmm. seven layout for one element, it's mean it's multiplied by 28 KB mm -hmm. just for one layout. Okay. So oh, our application was very slow. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So there now constraint layout reduce this and it's 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 based on flat hierarchy. There is no need of linear layout here and there. A lot of linear layout, relative layout, frame layout. We are using for the timing. We are also using as per requirement, but with constraint layout, it's it's very good. It's very fast, fast rendering, very fast applications. Mm. Okay, yes. <clears throat> so, exactly. Because the okay. RAM is very important in case of mobile application. Exactly, exactly. The memory is very important. Mm. Okay, so for example. So first of all, let me tell you, for example, if you want to place, maybe I, I, I want to use the linear layout. Okay. So I will just linear layout over here, horizontal or vertical. So maybe I will put the linear layout here. Okay. Here, here the, the control I can use. Here, the hierarchy of my code. Here, the attributes I can use. Okay. So for example, this is the code. Let me close the constraint layout. Okay, so you know, like this is showing something like insert required attributes layout. I'm telling you what I'm doing, just a moment. Okay. okay. So whenever you will, create so whenever you will create the activity actually it will use this layout you just need to remove this and use linear layout linear layout compact all done okay This is the basic layer, like this is the container. We will use some child inside here and for, so this is, there are some attributes, like this is for width, this is for height. So for width, there is a match parent, wrap content. Also, we can use the fix, but don't use fix. If you will use fix, it will create a problem with many devices, okay? Mm -hmm. Because different devices are different resolution. Okay, so this is the linear layout. I will check the design. This is in place. So for example, I need to place horizontally. I will give orientation O or horizontal vertical. Okay. Now all the child inside this container will be placed in horizontal. So for example, this is a button. See, I will drop everywhere. It will in place in horizontal. Oh. Mm. See? There are four buttons. So, okay. You can see if I put over here, see one button, two button, three button, four button. Okay. Okay. So for every control, the ID is important. With this ID, we will fetch from the Java, from the Kotlin file 
and then we will do some listener function all the things how we will access it should be unique it should be unique exactly it should be unique button 1 button 2 button 3 button 4 but this is not a good thing so for example i'm using button let me good make it two so for example one button for login one button for register okay so this is for login and this is for register okay so first of all it is showing like warning i mean the hard code should not be over here like if we want to uh if we want many languages in the future then should hard code should not work so how it will work i will i mean just click over here i will op, alt enter in the android i mean in the windows alt enter okay it will give you the extract string resource i will put enter i will just name the string login string mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so i need for all maybe for a or night mm -hmm. okay just okay see it will create the string in this file login string login for for the night maybe i can write login night okay mm -hmm. for the arabic maybe login arabic mm -hmm. okay so depends see now it's not hard coded this is practice so for the id it should be descriptive according to functionality for the login it should if it, if it is a button then it should start with b t n small then mm. l login Okay. Yes. Camel case. Yes. yes. Okay. Then I mean for the register, I will do the same string register AR night. Simply it's create very fast. So for example, for the default, it should be register for the night. Maybe. This is I'm giving the example. Okay. So don't confuse. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Arabic. See now. Okay, so now this button should be BTN register. Why I'm telling you the best practice because you know you want the best practices of everything. Yes, that's why I'm yes, mentioning. Yes. That's why I'm yes. mentioning. Like whenever you use this, these are the best best practice. Okay, now we have two button. Okay, so this is the default layout. Okay, so for example, I'm going to Arabic. See, register Arabic, login mm -hmm. Arabic. If I'm going to night, maybe there is, here it is, the option of going to night. Yes, not night, night. See, register Arabic, login. Why is showing for the Arabic? Just a moment. See, yes. login night and register night. Now I'm coming into not night, login register. Okay. And based on the version, it's changing the background and all the things. Okay. So if we want to define many layouts and stuff like that. Okay. So this is login register. See, this is in place. So for example, I want to set, <clears throat> I mean, I want like it should use equal space in the login. Yes. So I will add some weight sum, weight sum one, maybe one, this is my up to me, like maybe I can use 10, maybe I, be, uh -huh. I will use four, okay? So for example, I'm putting one, okay? So after adding weight, we need to decide, I need to apply weight in, in the horizontal direction or, or vertical direction. Uh -huh. So it's now horizontal, so I will, make the width zero because I want to apply weight in horizontal direction. Okay. So weight. So the weight sum is one. I will add 0 0.5. Same for this. Why layout weight? So what does it mean this one? Yeah, just a moment. I'm showing you. So see, now it's getting the exact space okay so actually 
to make it responsive i mean the the requirement was to show the button i mean exactly in the same place right login and register there is no space between uh, around so what i did i did use the wait sum okay wait so like this, I, is, uh, this is this is but uh, but huh sorry uh, wait some but uh, uh, space between two components no 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 actually wait some is like i mean if i have four children and i want to i mean divide four children according to some weight like one for one the other for one one for two and one so this is the weight so maybe i am putting this 10 okay? okay so i will give him one for Five. It should be the sum of each e children. Five plus five, ten. Same. So if I will give this first button seven, and the other button three. So it will, mm -hmm. I mean, give the width for seven percentage. It it will mm -hmm. give for three percentage. Oh. See. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. See. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now if I give his three and the register button seven, mm. see, now register mm. is big, login is small. What about the space between the two button space? Yes, yes, exactly. So first of all, I need to give the equal five. Okay, so for example, I give want to give space. I will give margin all around margin. 5 dp this should not be in hard coded as well 5 dp it should be in the dimension file mm. so i will let you later just a minute see mm. okay if i want to i mean give margin I, I mean, margin is a thing that is, I mean, uh, that the space from around. If I want to give some uh, space inside the layout, I will give the padding, not margin. So, for example, I'm giving 10 and padding 6 dp. This need practice for you, okay? So, you need to do some practice. 2 dp, uh, 10 dp. Yeah. See, now I'm giving the hard coded values. Okay, but I, in 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 later lessons I will let you know how we can make it responsive. Okay. So see now this is login register. I mean this is you can see the main container layout. It is match parent width and height. You it is taking the space of width and height, and it is getting the space all around. This is margin. And it is also giving inside some space, it is padding, see? So I don't want the height match parent. I want the wrap content. I can also change from here. See, now container is where. Now I want this container should be in the center. So I will give gravity center, see? You are understanding or not? Yes, yes. Okay. Actually, there are a lot of uh, options. We need to cover uh, most of them because it is very important. This variable, exactly, this uh, exactly. Exactly. I mean, a lot of. Yeah. If I will, I mean, you know, like go very fast, very fast. You, you there is no benefit of teaching you. Okay. So I will. If I am teaching you, so if I am giving you something, so after that you need to do some practice. I mean, you need to check what is a linear layout and do some practice installation. If you don't do practice, then I don't think so there is benefit of teaching. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is the layout because the layout is important thing because in, in Android, if you don't know layout, it's mean, I mean, there is no benefit. Oh. Okay. So, you know, this is the linear now. So, for example, I want to align in vertical rather than horizontal. I will simply change the orientation from horizontal to V, vertical. Okay. 
So why it is hiding? Because because of weight, because of width zero dp. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now I yeah I will make the height zero dp. So the weight will apply in in vertical direction. This in wrap content. See. Okay. Now it should be in 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 the center. Okay. Center. Layout gravity center. See. Mm. Now I want the login width should be the match parent of the device. I will simply do login width instead of wrapped content should be match parent. So width it should be wrap, wrap content, like it's, it's depend on the content inside it. The match parent, it should be the device of uh, the width of device. See. Mm -hmm. So this is login. Why I'm telling you? We are not using much now, but it should be, you, you should know this. Otherwise in, in somewhere you need and you don't know then what? Okay, so this is a basic linear layout structure. So in the Kotlin file, we are linking this file over here, set content view or mean resources, layout mean layout folder, dot activity underscore main it will pick this file see if i'm running this application oh this is the tablet also you need a very fast system my system is very fast that's why i'm doing things in a very smooth way yeah yes it was very fast uh, what about the RAM in your, your system? 16? It's 16 is uh, MacBook Pro M, M2, M1, sorry. So it's it's very fast. It's 16 GB and SSD, 500 SSD. See? Uh, yes. This is login button. This is register button. Okay, so I mean, this is, I mean, the layout later on, you know, like I prepared also. Um, some layout for huge HP data workshop. So later on, we will design this together. So you can get the idea of. Yes, yes. <clears throat> When we will design this, I mean, I will design this with the help of constraint layout, okay? Yes. Okay. So you will learn more because constraint layout is very important and very fast way of doing design. Mm. Okay. But you must know the attributes, okay? So, I mean, in, 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 in the layouts, so for example, I want to do some click on it in the Kotlin, okay? So this is Kotlin. So first of all, I need, I mean, where is the IDs? Button login and button register. Okay. There are two ways of doing this, three or four ways. One ways. So for example, there is on click. This is deprecated. Okay. But still, if I am using this, this is deprecated, by the way. We should not use this. Yes. So main activity. So this is our file. I will define button. So in Kotlin, you need to understand some uh, variables like in Java, we are using int, char, double. We can also use over here like int. We can also use like double. Okay, but with, but with capital letter. Okay. Um. But there is also two types like in final in Java, Final in Java, but well in Kotlin. Well and final is equal in. Okay. 
mm. and where this is dynamic so whenever i will any define anything it will cost accordingly so for example i have a button button login okay so i will like find view by id i mean there is a method built in method important find view by id okay so what is that this is button this is the type okay i will like resources because whenever we add the id it's auto generate the ids in the yeah. resources file so i use r dot id dot button login here it is okay so for for the register button where button no need uh, semicolon here no need semicolon no no there is no semicolon in kotlin find view by id it's button r dot id it will show button register there are two buttons okay so here I add the button. Now I want to click. So button login dot set on click listener. This is it. Button register dot set on click listener. Inside this body, this is Lambda body. We can define the function. So for example, I want to show. Okay. Also, there are shortcuts. Like I want to show the notification. I will just click T O A S T. Okay. Then click enter. Okay. So first, the first parameter is toast that makes us the first parameter is context, get application context, application context. I mean, this is the reference. I mean, from where we need to show this is the reference. The uh. second thing, what we want to show this is a login button okay and this is the length like how much how long it should be visible length for long time for short time two parameters i will create short dot show okay same i will do for Okay. I just place click. Now this is giving suggestion. So because it would not be changeable, please make final. I mean from where to where. Well. Mm. If something is changeable, then we will click where. If something mm. is final, we should place in for you know a final, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, cool. Now I'm running the application and check the listeners. Reload just uh, I'll run again now. Exactly. Okay, so just login. See, this is a login button. Mm -hmm. This is a register button. Okay. Also, it provides strong debugging. You are you are an IntelliJ ID. If I want to debug something, okay. I will just click place the breakpoint, attach debugger. Okay. You are a developer and you must know of debugging, right? Yes. Okay. So for example, I click login. See. I will write read the values and so on. So you have to run you, you have to run the mobile application in debug mode or no need no actually we can we can we need to debug there are two ways okay so one way is just a moment one way is i need to run in debug mode debug app this is one way mm. okay and the second way is if my application is already running so for example if my application is already running and i want to debug from here just select this option Attach debugger uh, and select the package. Yes. Here it is. Now, mm -hmm. see.
Okay, so this is for the login. I mean, there are other things as well, but you know, like we need to move a little, a little slow, not too high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Slowly, slowly, because uh, there are a lot of information. So I need yeah. to. Um, yeah, you just yeah. need to go. Through, but I will. Uh, I hope I will teach you uh, in a good way. You know, right now I'm trying to explain all all the small component as well. Okay, right now. So, for example, this is the login. This is not recommended to use the hard coded string. Okay, mm -hmm. how I need to use? Come over here, press Alt Enter. It will give suggestion. X string string resource second. I will write mm -hmm. the name of string. Login toast. And I need for all languages. Okay. Yes. See. Yes. Okay. Registered toast. See. Now our code is much cleaner. There are many ways of doing, okay? So I'm I'm trying to give you the best practices as well for all the things, but it will be smoothly. I mean, slowly, slowly. Yes. Okay. Now the work is same, like the thing is different. Okay. Now, right now, we are using two things, login and register. So we need, I mean, the two common things. So instead of this, we need to use the method of, the same object, uh, I will select, right click, generate. Okay, generate uh, a method, where it is, where it is, implement method. Okay, Alt Shift M. Okay, it's Alt Shift M, Alt Shift M. Here we are in show toast. Okay, I will add the parameter. Here I will add the parameter like message. It should be string. Okay. So this is the function uh, prototype yes. in the Kotlin, no? Yes. Yeah. I mean, I created from the UI. I can also create natively just a message and I will paste over here. Okay. Same. Remove this line. Just copy a message. See, now it's much cleaner, right? Yes. Okay, and still I'm using button login a lot, a lot of listener, okay? So instead of doing this, I can just button login dot set on click listener. Sorry. This, this mean it will implement the interface in this and button login. This at the rate of, okay. So even I will maybe comment this. So we just hover this and it will see like more action and on click okay now we have this method is override okay i will simply add when in in java we can use switch in Kotlin we can also use switch okay why switch is removed yeah no not removed we can use switch cases but the cleaner is when when I will send the ID V dot ID. Okay. It says like maybe like this is this is the question mark. It says this is maybe this view may be nullable, maybe null. So I will just yes. place like the question mark. It, if it is not null, then use. I will add this. Simply if 
ID is all dot ID is button login. Use this. If R dot ID button register, use this. Okay. Else, do nothing. Okay. So, for example, I will use this method for the login. I will use this method for the register. See, now even I will, if I remove this, for example. So when 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 like case is a switcher, yeah? switch. Yeah, switch. when when it's case. Okay, but this question is no question mark case. question mark represent what question mark this one? Null null. Like if if this v two id. In Java, we can write this. If V is equal is equal to null, is not is not equal to null, then do this. Oh. V dot oh. V dot ID. Okay. But though there is no need of this, simply put question mark like V question mark dot mm -hmm. maybe dot let. There are another Kotlin terms. If null, okay, else this. I will let you know one by one, a lot of things in Kotlin and very good and very small. Okay, you can know, we stop uh, now? Can we stop here? Because a yes, lot of yes, information. Yes, yes, sure, sure, sure. I'm, you know, like, uh, I'm just telling you, like right, right now you can see this is much cleaner. I start with the, with the spaghetti code. Now it's getting cleaner, cleaner, cleaner. See? Mm. Okay. Override. override the same override in um, override. Exactly. Yeah. So in, in Kotlin, there is annotate in Java, there is annotation override. Okay. But in Kotlin, this is a button one. Okay. And in, in Java, we are using like some uh I mean, in Java, there is void. In Kotlin, there is unit. This is same. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Also, we, in in uh, in Java, we are not using fun for function. We are just naming the function and yes. you know, right away. So, but in 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 Kotlin, with every function, we are using fun. Okay, also also in in Java we are we are uh, we are initializing variable in this way string x something maybe but in Kotlin we are different where x string is equal to oh. Oh. see. Mm. I think this is for today. Okay, yes. so uh, I, I think I should share this with... project. If you share this project with me, yes, it's... yes, okay. exactly, exactly. I will, I will put, I will push in the GitHub and send me the Git. Uh, I need to send in 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 the zip file or in the GitHub. What do you think? In GitHub, no problem. If you have a public uh, repository, no problem. Yeah, I will. I will create. I mean, if you are aware of GitHub, then yeah. Good. Yeah, GitHub it's okay. And okay. Yes. I will. I will right now. I will just send you this project. But tomorrow morning, I will set up GitHub and we will yeah. do branch by branch, day by day, and branch by branch. Lesson one, lesson yes. two, lesson three. So whenever you need, you can check the video, as well as you can check the GitHub. Okay. Yes. So I think I should stop here. Uh, I I should need to, uh, should click stop right. Yes, click stop record. Okay, so it will paste the link where? In, in the chat, right? Where it will create the link? It will, uh, after, uh, uh, it will take uh, time. Uh, after uh, close the meeting, okay, when okay. we leave the meet, but it's still now recording, still now recording. Please stop recording. Stop recording. 
Okay. Click uh, escape. Click escape or escape. Yes. yes. Stop recording.